Rowe Mitchell's left Sheep Foundation School in 2012 to accept the scholarship at Cooley Town Football Club. Yeah, uh, well, a typical day for me would be waking up at 7 o'clock roughly, um, catching the bus into training, train for about an hour and a half, two hours, that would be ball work, sometimes circuits, um, core work, really to build up the muscle, keep us strong and fit. Um, Tuesday is mainly our fitness day. After training, we normally go for lunch. Um, we sit down, relax, have a little chat, and uh, that's our day finished. Really, we get back to the ground, we get um, we go out. Um, sometimes I do a bit of extra work to keep myself. At the end of the day, hard work is what it's all about. Um, I go to the gym to work on a bit of bulk, try and make myself stronger, or I just relax. Um, might be swimming, might go to the sauna, or even go out and sleep. so far with the club it would have to be undoubtedly uh, my debut for the first team in the Sussex Senior Cup. I came on and played the full 90 minutes at right midfield, we won the game 4-2. Um, I can't we can't compare to that. I mean I'm playing against full grown men, playing with first team players on a cold night, Wednesday night, out in Whitehawk in Brighton. Um, and yeah, I, I loved every minute of it, wouldn't change it for the world. Routine. Um, that journey starts from the day before. Like on a Friday night, for example, um, I make sure I'm eating the right food, eating early as well, drinking a lot of water, make sure my bag is packed always, and getting a good night's sleep. Um, on the day of the game, I wake up early, you know, I have my food, I keep everything done nice and early. I always have a long stretch off before I even get to the ground. And when I'm at the ground, I normally listen to music to sort of relax myself. I sometimes even watch videos of players, like when I'm playing right back, I might watch Philip Lahm for playing right on the film, watch Ronaldo, just so I get an idea of how, how the game's going to go today. Um, if we played the position beforehand, I'll be thinking to myself about the player I'll be up against. Unfortunately, we don't have set numbers, so yeah, I can't always sit in the same position. What I am very superstitious about is making sure my shirt goes on the last of all my kit, and I'll obviously put my boots on after that. And I always tie my right foot up first, um, I suppose because I'm right footed, so I always make sure that boot's nice and tight, and my left foot afterwards. Um, yeah, I mean, I started off at actually quite an, yeah, an old age. I started off playing nine, um, compared to what most people start off at four and five. Um, I wasn't really interested in football until that point at all. Um, Dad tried to get me into it quite a lot, so mum, and, and but I just wasn't interested. Until one day I just turned around and said, no, I want to be a footballer. I saw made it my life's goals really, now to become a professional footballer. Um, I've been at several clubs, but unfortunately, due to different circumstances, I mean, I might not always be the, the right cup of tea for them. So, and frankly, Corley saw me and they liked me. So, aside from my dad, who's been the biggest influence on my career, and as a person and a player, um, I'd have to say Roger Morgan, who I met when I was 10, has had a massive impact on me keeping me grounded through the highs and picking me up through the lows. He's always been there and honestly I don't know where I'd be without him and my dad. In terms of role models for me, uh, Steven Gerrard is by far the biggest one. Um, the way how he can grip a game, take a game by the scruff of the neck and just drive the team forward. His leadership skills, his all round play, it's just blown me away. Um, I remember, I'll never forget one of the first games I watched from, from full 90 minutes was the FA Cup final in 2006 and I'll just never forget that moment when he scored that goal. From that moment that's what I idolised him, the way how he has respect for his peers and just drive the team forward. Since year 11 I've done a bit of education in the club, that is we do the MVQ log books. We do a BTEC course based on sports science and psychology. We're also doing our level two coaching badges. I was actually in foundation school. I took my coaching badges in cricket, badminton and dodgeball. And also in a sports leadership course. And I was also a young ambassador for the school. This has really helped me to get involved in the coaching side of it. And I mean, coaching side I do want to go into when I'm older. That's why this, this course has been ideal for me really. 
it's about crawling. Um, probably, yeah, the early morning starts. Um, getting paid to do something I love. Uh, not many people have the, have the opportunity to do that, so I'm very grateful for this. Um, and not the best bit of being, I don't know, training. Uh, he's training every day, so in the best physical condition you can be in. And I love that. The time off as well. At school, um, it's a tough question, but most definitely it's got to be seeing my friends daily and to some extent the teachers as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just form close bonds with them over the five years of the school, and to go from seeing them daily to seeing them perhaps at weekends every now and then it's a big step, but you know, I want to develop my career and that's where I have to be. a chance, I mean, and I'm to school and pay my wages, um, I'll be back, but now, seriously talk, I'll be back in uh, June, hopefully, um, yes, see you all then. In terms of the future, I'm hoping to get that professional contract at Crawley, uh, I mean, my scholarship runs out in 2014, so, if, I'm hoping they give it, I get it here, if not, then, Obviously there's many a club out there, so I hope that I can make it elsewhere. But in terms of my overall goals, I mean, I've got to be aiming high. If you don't aim high, and you know, sit out slow, and when you fall back, you're falling back onto nothing. So, I mean, if I, I, want, my, I want to play for England. I want to play for Man United, I want to play for the top clubs. Um, and I want to have that chance. Outside of football, really I'm looking to go into coaching um, and managing. I mean, I, I enjoy it so much that you know, saying I'd be stupid not to go into it because it keeps me involved in the football loop and also, I mean, it's what a job. I mean, the next stage up and down from football would be coaching. You can't, you can't beat that. Um, and yeah, I mean, just looking forward to it really. I'm living the dream at the moment, but I haven't made it yet. It's still a hell of a lot of work for me to do yet before I can say I have made it. And that's why you've got to put work in now. You put work in year seven through to 11, if it's in your education, if it's in your sport, whatever you do, give it 100% and you'll make it.